today. We have a new update on the search for Garth Sangree. That and more is all coming up right here on Spinnaker News. Hello Ospreys, I'm Tedlin Locke and you're watching Spinnaker News on Spinnaker Television. The U.S. Coast Guard has called off the search for the missing UNF student Gar Sangree. According to the Coast Guard, the search was called off for a number of different reasons, including water temperature and wind. The search could resume if new evidence presents itself. Last night in the Student Union, members of Baptist Collegiate Ministries gathered together for a vigil on behalf of Sangree. The service was filled with many people as Sangree is a well-known student on campus. Several people spoke about Sangree and sang songs during the service. The overall theme of the night seemed to be that there is still hope for Sangri and that God is watching over him. UNF President John Delaney released a statement regarding the situation this morning. He said, quote, Our thoughts and prayers are with the family and friends of Gar Sangri. This is such a tragic situation, end quote. A female student told UNFPD someone scratched the B-word into the driver's side door of her car. According to a UNFPD report, she noticed this on January 24th, and she reported it the next morning. What, what she didn't know who did it, she did provide an interesting story that happened earlier in the month. She said two weeks ago, a male followed her as she was driving to the Fountain's parking lot. He parked behind her and started yelling at her. She said the man told her she would have the B-word labeled across her forehead, and he didn't know who in the F gave her a license and that you don't cut people off. The man then walked towards the fountains without any further incident. Due to the lack of identifiable suspects, patrol efforts have been suspended. Now for your Spinnaker weather update, here's Catherine Marsh. Good morning, Ospreys. I hope it's not too cold to get out of bed this morning. I'm Catherine Marsh here with your Spinnaker weather update. It's currently 43 degrees, and as you can see in our current conditions, we're looking at a sunny day with a high of 53 and a low of 35. Our winds today are coming from the northeast at about 6 to 8 miles per hour. Moving on to tonight, our forecast shows clear skies with a low around 35. We will have northeast winds coming in at about 5 miles per hour, and they will get calmer by midnight. If it's not too cold for the beach, Surfline reports that waves will be flat. It's not looking too rideable, but there may be a few waves. And for tomorrow, the sun is still shining with light and variable winds and a high at 65. Looks like it might be warming up for the weekend. Well, that's it for today's weather report. Now let's take a look at your three-day forecast. Thanks, Catherine. Now for your Spinnaker Sports Report, here's Alex Gatlin. Good morning, Ospreys. I'm Alex Gatlin, here with your Spinnaker Sports. After averaging 20.5 points per game, Bo Beach is named the A-Sun Player of the Week. Beach opened the week with his 14.7 rebound effort against Northern Kentucky. Then Saturday, he tore up the nets for 27 points versus Lipscomb. This is the third player of the week that UNF has claimed this season. Beach and the Ospreys will be back in action at home tomorrow at 7 versus Kennesaw State. Well, that does it for your Spinnaker Sports. Back to you, Tedlin. Thanks, Alex. Well, that's all the time we have for you today on Spinnaker News. But for more on the stories reported today and other stories, you can check out unsspinnaker.com. You can also like the Spinnaker on Facebook at facebook.com slash unsspinnaker. And you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at unsspinnaker. For Catherine Marsh and Alex Gatlin, I'm Tedlin Locke. Have a great day, UNF.